Hi everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret. It's time to make some cupcake soaps. So today I'm actually going to be using, I uh, haven't used it in soap yet, but it is a soap colour, Cool Pink from You Make It Up. Uh, this is also on the Soap Kitchen website. I'm using Creme de la Creme. I didn't realise this was a soap colour. I thought it was eyeshadow, but it can be used in soap. Also from You Make It Up, it's on the Soap Kitchen website as well. And I'm using some violet blue as well. Um, the reason being, the fragrance I'm using today is black raspberry and vanilla. A fantastic traditional fragrance that everybody loves. going to start with the bases today and I thought I would do the bases in the cool pink. Now black raspberry and vanilla does have some um, speed to it. Um, it can set quite fast actually. So make sure you put the fragrance in last. don't want this too bright so I'll just put like a level teaspoonful in there Now people have been asking me for years if I'll do some on online classes and I've been saying for years yes I will do some. Well I am actually going to do some um, and I'll let you know more about that in the new year. I know people are waiting for me doing it but it's very time consuming and knowing what site to set up on and everything I'm just not 100% sure yet uh, obviously i want to make it worth your while and make it valuable to you uh, so that you save a lot of money learning how to make soap which is something i didn't have the luxury of when i started okay so let's pour this base into the molds It's really pretty it's very different to um, the fluorescent pink but I think it looked really really lovely so the next layer will be the violet blue and then the top layer is going to be the creme de la creme Okay, time to do the next layer. Put too much in there actually.
Okay, so we're going to add some of that blue violet. And you're going to need a tablespoonful of it if you want it to be nice and concentrated. the fragrance going in This soap batter is ready to go in the piping bag. Remember, if you're using a round nozzle, you don't want to let that batter get too thick. Once it's in the piping bag, just knock it down and that'll get rid of as many air bubbles as possible. It won't get rid of all of them, but it will get rid of. With the round nozzle, you sort of just letting it fall out with the. With the round nozzle, you sort of just letting the soap batter fall out of the nozzle. You do need to give it a little bit of a squeeze, but not too much. That way, you end up with almost a perfect wreath around the soap. You're always going to have this join at the back. It just, it's impossible to get rid of that.
So I'm adding creme de la creme mica into the container at the moment. We're just going to give that a stir in. It's like champagne, isn't it? It's the perfect champagne colour, this one. Give that a blend in. And you can see the soap is a lot thicker than I usually have it when I'm putting colours in. Um, funnily enough, the black raspberry and vanilla, which I said is a fast moving, fra not a fast moving fragrance, um, but it does have some speed with it. Usually when I used to use it, I always used to have titanium dioxide in there. So it's actually behaving very well today because I'm not using titanium dioxide. In fact, I don't use titanium dioxide anywhere near the amount I used to in the olden days. I loved it that much. I used to put it in every batch nearly. So when we start doing this, um, I guess you could call it Karen's soap classes or something like that. We'll have to come up with a name for it, won't we? Um, it's going to be soap making my way, but it's going to be greatly led by you and what you want to learn, what you want to know. Um, obviously, I've got thousands of ideas for videos that I can do. When I'm doing a video on YouTube, I'm basically just showing you techniques, uh, but there's so much more to soap making than you see on YouTube, believe it or not. Um, and it's gonna save you a lot of money as well. I spent an awful lot of money learning how to make soap, and I'm hoping I can pass those savings on to you by teaching you what I have learned, and that's, the operative word is what I have learned. Um, some of the things I do might be slightly different to what other silk makers do and swear by, uh, but we're gonna work our way through everything together. And we're gonna do loads and loads of different recipes. We're not just gonna stick with one. We're, again, I've. I've just got so much in my brain. I've written loads down about what we're going to do. So I hope you're looking forward to that. I honestly can't tell you how many people ask me time and time and time and time again. When am I going to do it? When am I going to do it? I keep promising. I keep promising. And I never, and never find the time. And I thought if I just sit, announce it in a video, then I have to get it done. Because I know people are sitting waiting. So, um, right, it's time to, almost time to pipe this soap on top now. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? It's like clotted cream, isn't it? Um, so we're using the Wilton 1M tip for the top. I think this is probably the most popular piping nozzle on the planet. The Wilton 1M. So that's what they look like piped and I'll set my camera up above now so you can see. I just wanted you to see what it looks like from the side. All right so in the center, round the outside, round the outside, into the center, round the outside. I wish I could remember what that song was. That's the only bit of it I can remember. I can't even remember what the, the tune's like. Uh-oh. 
air pocket but we can hide it see you'd never know I think this colour's gorgeous isn't it So I just bought some of the Wilton piping bags, uh, I just bought two just in case because they actually look the same as the PME bags online and I've never bought them and I thought oh just bite the bullet and buy a couple. Um, so th they are, they're exactly the same as the, uh, the PME piping bags. The price isn't any different, they're both still expensive. But as I say, they are reusable and you can reuse them multiple times. I can't tell you how many times, you know, it's something I've never taken any record of. But I'm going to with these new ones and see how many pipes we get out of them. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but because I always have about at least eight piping bags on the go at any one time. Why? Because I've got holes cut in the end um, that do all different size nozzles. And I have actually bought a coupler, so it's probably time I started using one. But I still think you've got to cut a hole off. You've still got to cut the tip off, haven't you, if you even if you're using a coupler. Okay, so my glitter is Eco Stardust Sparkler. Absolutely beautiful. So here they are. It's a very, very pastel creamy pink there on the bottom with that gorgeous violet on the next layer and that creme de la creme has worked absolutely beautifully. I'm just doing those. Uh, the difference on the top with the piping just makes all the difference, doesn't it? piping it like a rose you can do it with any tip but I think the Wilton 1M is the one that creates the best looking rose okay everyone as usual thanks so much for watching I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas 
and a wonderful holiday wherever you are in the world and if you're not I just hope this could brighten your day somewhat and I'm thinking of you all right bye bye for now